Question six is um, <laughs> to the, uh, I think uh, probably the easiest possible question that one can ask about LC circuit. Um, especially if uh, you are allowed to look at formulas. So I'm sure hint kind of refers to it. And um, it's asked in a particular way that actually helps um, avoid certain unit issues that you can have when you deal with oscillation phenomena. So, um, so you know, in keeping with that, let me keep this problem simple and just to look up the formula that you are supposed to look up from textbook. So in section 14.5, you know, it goes through the whole thing. And after going through the whole thing, the main thing you're looking for is this thing, where the angular frequency of oscillation in the circuit is that. <laughs> so, you know, there's the whole derivation up and in the lecture also, I also do drive it. But the key thing for that particular question is that you have somehow either knowledge of or access to this formula for the angular frequency of oscillation in the circuit. And, um, and this quantity here, that is given in uh, radians per second. That's why it's saying angular frequency of oscillation. And um, if the question were maybe trying to make it a little bit harder, it might have asked for frequency of the oscillation. And if you are dealing with the frequency of the oscillation, which um, you know are given in cycles per second or in uh, the proper name unit, it's given in Hertz then you would have to go through the whole thing of where frequency is, is related to angular frequency by angular frequency divided by two pi. And what this factor of two pi is doing is actually unit conversion. It's converting from, um, so in this expression, it's converting from omega, which is in radians per second, and it's converting the radian into cycle. So that it's cycles per second. But, so the question deliberately asks you for angular frequency so that if somehow you aren't considering this issue at all, then all you have to do is just plug in the numbers. So let me just do that. Um, so I'm given the inductance and the capacitance. Let me just plug in the powers of 10 so that I don't have to do a lot of thinking about powers of 10. So 0.4 milli Henry times uh, for picofarad, um, I happen to have memorized that pico means uh, 10 to the minus 12. Yeah, that comes after nano. Um, so, so that's uh, 1 over LC, and I need to take the square root of it. Equals um, 25 times 10 to the 6 radians per second. So 25. Oh, that's pretty high. Um, so yeah, it's just uh, making you <laughs> look up the formula for LC circuit oscillation. Um, and you know, if you look at the lecture, the derivation for that is actually, um, I hope it reminds you of the simple harmonic oscillator that you hopefully saw in physics 4A. And you know, if you haven't, then this is an excellent chance to review oscillatory phenomena.